Hi there folks. Uh, this will be the first of several test videos I do of the straight shot uh, dual magnet axial flux wind turbine here. Um, and this one will just be open voltage versus wind speed. And uh, we'll do some other videos in the near future where we test uh, battery banks and, and some other data. But right now it's just two pieces of data and we're just letting her run free in the wind. And uh, I'm standing right next to it ready to shut it down if things get a little out of control. Um, I had a little bit of favorable wind from the west, anywhere between uh, southwest and the north. There, it's pointing sort of northwest, more north and west, and uh, and it, it'll you'll see it come around in both directions here. But uh, uh, this project, if those of you who haven't watched, you can go through my previous videos. Uh, this was a project between the muddy muddy mud man and I um, at its genesis. We were the idea of this turbine was to try and take advantage of the the light winds, the winds in people's backyards that we all have, the 10 to 15 and you know even a little bit below that um, so that it can make a l some power. Um, and, uh, and so I'm going to put a link to his channel down below. If many of you are already aware of him, but if you're not, you should go right on over there and subscribe. Um, also, there is uh, two other people I want to uh, take the opportunity to, uh, to point out to you guys. Um, C. Wayne Hawk, I will put a link to his channel. Um, he made the stator that is in this turbine that I'm running today, and, and uh, he, he's cast me several stators, and they're, they're, he does beautiful work. And he also has one of, uh, a turbine similar to this that I sent him that he worked up, and uh, I, I'd encourage you to go over there and subscribe and look at what he's done and, uh, and his work. He's a bright guy, and, and I enjoy uh, chatting with him. And, uh, and then lastly, there's a new gentleman. Um, there is uh, his Silent Death 002. I'll put a link there. I have recently sent him a uh, wind turbine frame, um, similar to the one that we have in the video here, almost exactly the same. Um, it has no magnets or stator. It is what I call bare bones, and uh, he is going to have to do some work on it to make it, get it up and running. But uh, he's a very able guy, and, and he does a really good job of explaining... Uh, his way through things and his process and all that. And again, another very, very bright guy that I, I'm really looking forward to watching the project unfold. So at any rate, that being said, um, let's look at the data here. Uh, if you go through and, and back up there and watch things, uh, there's just a few characteristics that I've noticed that, uh, that are worth mentioning just watching um, wind speed and, and open voltage. Um, one, the blade set's fairly heavy. It's 10 pounds. That, maybe that's not heavy for all wind turbine blades, but the, it's heavy compared to the ones that I've made. Um, and it, it's great because it kind of coasts out. Um, it does take a little while to build up its its uh, voltage. Um, there you can see, you'll see uh, something that's that's interesting is is uh, it will build up a fair amount of voltage, even though before five miles per hour. But th this being open voltage, there is not one watt of load on this turbine. So if, if I so much as put five watts on it at five miles per hour, it would for sure bring it to a stop. And uh, it might come to a stop a little bit slowly because the inertia built up in the, in the blade set and, of course, the magnet rotors. But, but uh, the blades tend to coast. And so it will build up, its, it, it will build up speed. Um, and then as soon as it hits around eight miles per hour, it seems to take off. And that's when that's when the blades get their lift or whatever have you, and they, they run re well over 20 mile, 20 um, volts and all that in an open voltage situation. And uh, and, and by this info, I, I kind of want to discern what sort of battery bank it should be hooked up to a 12 volt, perhaps a 24 volt, and I think it might be 24. It, it also probably depends very much on the wind area. This is a rather bad wind area. There's no there is no clean wind coming in through here. In fact, um, you'll see some disparity between the voltage and the and the wind speed there because the wind turbine itself will be orienting on the, the yaw bearing, and so you'll note that. Um, and then uh, and then beyond that, you know, I don't have a whole lot else to say. I think I'd, I, if you don't mind, I would like you guys just to look this over and see what you think about it and what what this tells you. Um, uh, you're. I know a lot of you guys have wind turbines and and have interest in these sort of things, so I I. I I would appreciate that if you take the time for that. At any rate, um, in the last clip, you'll see uh, you'll you'll see the turbine and you'll see the cups, the the in speed um, anemometer cups spinning right next to it. And you'll see where 
where the cups will come to a complete stop, yet the blades will will still be turning, and and vice versa. You know, the 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 uh, I shouldn't say vice versa, but the the wind the turbine will start up before the cups start up. And I, I think I, I show that in this video. If I don't, I I've sh I, I have it in other videos. But uh, I think that's an interesting trait. The 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 blade set seems to be fairly efficient, and uh, at least in the startup situation. So look that over. I'm a humble guy. Please put in your comments, and I, I do appreciate that very much. So um, beyond that, I don't really have anything else to say, and I'm just going to let this this video run its course and, and let you watch it and, and, and hear what you have to say about it. So uh, thank you very much for all, uh, for all your attention on this. And uh, definitely go to those links below and, and subscribe to those gentlemen that I, I, I pointed out. And uh, with that, hope everyone has a good night, and until next time.